Hello, everybody, and welcome. Big game here tonight as James Monroe Mavericks are on the road to face the Greenbrier West Cavaliers. And this is just a huge game in single-A West Virginia football tonight. It's number one, James Monroe versus number five, West. Both teams undefeated, and both teams coming in here looking to keep that streak going. But only one is going to be able to pull that out, and we're going to find out who that is as the night progresses. So this is an established rivalry between these two teams. Similar matchup last year uh, at James Monroe. James Monroe was able to pull the victory out in that one on their path to the state championship game. And we're getting ready to see the Cavaliers come on the field. Cavaliers fired up here for this one, and it's a big game for both teams, like we were saying. Cavaliers led by a stingy defense, and they're going against a Maverick team who has been able to put up huge offensive numbers in games this year. So we're going to see a clash of strengths here tonight. Offensively, we'll see Greenbrier West led. Cole Vandal averaging almost, or has over 500 yards on the season, 11 touchdowns to two interceptions, and nearly... 60% completion percentage. Spreads the ball out well. Top target there, only with 12 receptions on the season. A lot of players are getting distributed that ball. So multifaceted passing attack here from Greenbrier West. Leading rusher on the season, Jake Pate, with just over 400 yards for James Monroe. It'll be Chaz Boggs and Cooper Ridgeway leading the way. Those two came together last week for almost 500 yards themselves. About two minutes to go before kick. Got our captains coming out. It's Ethan Holiday out there, Captain Tucker Lilly. Captain the number three, Jacob Witt and Colvin Vandal for the Cavaliers. Rainy night here in Charmco. The rain was coming down pretty heavily about an hour ago. Now it's drizzled off, but the fog is going to roll in. So it could be one of those mid-fall kind of football nights. James Monroe is going to receive for the opening kickoff. So we're going to immediately get to see those two strengths we talked about. The Cavalier defense facing off against this Maverick offense. Man and Cooper Ridgeway back to receive deep. And it'll be Hayden Ridgeway to kick off for the Cavaliers. So Ridgeway to Ridgeway here on the opening kickoff. And we are just about ready. Hands are in the air. Foots on the ball, and we are going. That ball curves over to Man, takes it at the 25. Works his way up to the 30, and he's going to be up into there. Gets down to the 31-yard line. The Mavericks take the field, led by quarterback Leighton Dowdy. And 
to go under center, a split back formation, one receiver to the right. They have Ridgeway and Boggs split behind, and we're going to have a flag before the first snap. We're going to have a false start on the Mavericks. It's going to back them up five. We're going to take it back to the 26. It'll be first and 15. The Mavericks break their huddle. They're going to come out in different formation now. Still split backs. Now receiver to the boundary side of the field on the left. Snaps back. It's going to go to Parker. Parker gets nothing on the right side and gets back out to the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second and 15, opening possession of the game. Break the huddle. They're going to go back under center. Ryan Mann lines up wide to the right side. Snap comes back. Doubt he's looking to throw. Has Mann open. Running from the defense. The ball has to just throw it away. It's going to bring up third and 15. Had Mann on a route down the right side seam, but the defense was after him, and he couldn't get feet set to make that deep throw and just had to get rid of it. Comes in with the play. Mavericks break the huddle. Nine seconds to go on the play clock. It's going to be Dowdy in the shotgun. Has a sidecar. Three wide. Takes a drop. Looks to throw. Now he hasn't had to run. Has a little bit of room around the right side. Cavalier defense closing in. Looking to throw. Gets the ball out. And that's going to be incomplete. And Mavericks will be forced to punt on the opening possession. possession Cavalier defense as good as advertised and the Mavericks will have to punt Holiday and Pate back it's going to go to Holiday and he catches it on the knee right at the 50 yard line and that's where the opening possession for the Cavaliers will start Vandal leads his team onto the field. Working on getting the play in from the sideline. Now they're ready to go. Vandal's in the shotgun. Split. Backs beside three wide. Takes the ball, hands out the, uh, keeps it himself. Faked the handoff to Holiday, kept it around the right end, picked up, uh, call it a yard and a half, maybe up to two yards. Two yard run by Cole Van Dahl. Brings up second and eight. Shotgun formation, four wide. Hands off to the inside. Bounces off a tackler there, gets down the field. That's Pate, and he's going to get down to the 41-yard line. Still not enough for a first down, so it'll bring up third and one. So Jake Pate able to take that ball for about seven. Bounced off a tackler in the meantime. All right, four wide again. Wide receiver in the sidecar. Now Holiday's going to motion to the left. And going to get a whistle. Offside. 
It's going to be offsides on the defense. That will be enough for a first down. Brings the ball down to the 36-yard line. Van Dahl goes in the shotgun, has Holiday and Pate with three receivers wide. Hands off, keeps it himself, fakes the handoff to Holiday and takes it around the right end. Same play we saw earlier, and he's going to pick up about four on the play. This game with some huge playoff repercussions, especially when it comes to seeding and who's going to be on the road. Ready to go now. Pate in the sidecar. Vandal in a shotgun. Now Pate's going to motion into a wide receiver position. It's a screen pass to Pate, and he's going to drop it out there. Is the ball live? James Monroe jumps on it, but they're going to signal incomplete. And that's going to bring up third down now and six. Paid off, set to the right. Vandal's going to keep it, and he's going to be drugged down there for a loss of maybe a yard. I think they're going to spot him back to the line of scrimmage, so no gain on the play. It's going to bring up fourth and sixth. And this area of the field, you think the Cavaliers are probably going to want to go for it. Cavaliers come out. Four receivers to the left. You have Holiday as the lone man to the right. I'm going to try to get the Mavericks to jump here, looking back for a play call. And clock ticking down. We'll see if they actually snap this or if they're trying to draw the Mavericks off size. And they do snap it. Vandal throws. Ball is going to be knocked down, incomplete. That was Leighton Dowdy jumped in front of that pass and just took it right away from Tucker Lilly was the intended target on that play. So turnover on downs. James Monroe is going to get the ball basically where they punted it from earlier. So two top team, two of the top single A teams in the state, possibly the top two single A teams in this state. And uh, first possessions for both show the strong defenses. The Mavericks are ready to go now. Dowdy under center, split backs. Receiver to his right. Hands off to Ridgeway. Ridgeway is going to drive in. There's a flag on the play after a four-yard gain. We'll see what that's going to be. Number seven, Cooper Ridgeway with the carry. There's a flag on the play. And they're going to signal a hold against the Mavericks, so that'll negate that play and back them up. That penalty going to be enforced from the 36-yard line, and it will put the Mavericks back to the 31. It's going to be about first and 15. Call it 17. Snap back, handoff goes to Ridgeway. Ridgeway goes into the center, and he's going to pick up a couple yards back, gets out to about the 29. Let's call it four yards on the play. It'll bring up second and 13. Jake Payne on the tackle. Out. He's in the shotgun. Four wide formation here for the Mavericks. Takes the ball. He's going to run himself up the middle. Gets a block, and he's going to be drugged down. Finally knocked out of bounds. They're going to say he's down inbounds, and that's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage. We'll bring up third and ten. Third 
Mavericks show five wide or no four wide formation now. Dowdy in the shotgun. Drops back. Looks to throw. Has an open man, and it's complete, and he breaks free. He's out over the 50-yard line. I believe that's Chaz Boggs. Gets down to the 45, and there's going to be a flag on the play, and that was Boggs. That was good for about a 22-yard reception. We'll see what this flag is going to be. Uh, I believe initial signal is going to be a face mask. Wait for the official word. And it is going to be a face mask, so that's going to... We're going to say a five-yard variety of a face mask. That's going to put the ball down to the 40-yard line to be a first down for the Mavericks. All right, Mavericks have man wind up wide right under center. Two receivers, and that goes to... Maybe that went to Parker. Took the ball up the inside for five yards. He's down to the 35. Mavericks quick back up on the ball. Under center. Turns and hands the ball to Ridgeway. Ridgeway looking for room. Spins. Not going to find anything. That Cavalier defense just swarms to him, and it's going to lose about a yard on the play. Too many tacklers to mention there for the Cavaliers as about half that defense was able to get in on that play. You're going to say Jake Pate was the first one to arrive. And it's going to bring up a third and six here at the Cavalier 36. Split back formation, wide receiver to the right. Now he turns and pitches. That's the Boggs. Boggs is going to be tripped up after a gain of two. Gets down to the 34. So we'll have fourth and four, and the Mavericks will have a decision to make. Mm, again, the kind of area of the field where going for it is likely. And Ethan Holiday in on that tackle. Ryan Man gets the play from the sideline. He's going to run it back into the huddle. Play clock down to 10 as the Mavericks break. Have four wide. Daddy's going to take the ball. He's going to step up. Has a little bit of room to run. Instead, he's going to throw, and that ball is going to be caught. That's Chaz Boggs down around the 25-yard line. It's enough for a Maverick first down, a diving catch. He's able to cradle that. Balls at the 25-yard line, first from being Maverick. Let's go, Drew! his favorite target, Chaz Boggs. A couple times on this drive in important spots, both third down. And Mavericks are going to have a first down to the 25-yard line moving toward the red zone. Parker comes in motion. Daddy takes the ball, hands off to Ridgeway. Ridgeway's up the middle. He has a decent gain there. Going to pick up about four on the first down run. Maverick started this drive back to the 32-yard line, so finding some success on their second possession of the game after the first was a three and out. Said before, a Cavalier defense, it's been stingy all season. Ball pitched back to Ridgeway. He doesn't able to break that tackle. That's number 22, Isaac Ag, who was able to get over there and make that play and a loss of four. Back to the original line of scrimmage is going to bring up third and long. Ball for five yards on that play. Ball for the 26-yard line. Third down through the Mavericks. 
So Mavericks are going to come out, split backs with Parker and Ridgeway. They have Boggs split wide. Drop back. He's looking for Boggs. Has a defender closing in on him, and that is going to be Pate. Brings him down in the backfield for a sack. Pate got around the end and was just on an absolute beeline toward Dowdy, and Dowdy was facing the other direction. I don't know if he ever knew he was coming. And that's going to bring up a fourth and 19 here, but in no man's land where I'm not sure what the Mavericks are going to want to do. It looks like they're going to go ahead and punt. Going to try to pin the Cavaliers deep. You run the risk here punting at this part of the field that it trickles into the end zone, and you don't gain a whole lot out of it, but we're going to see how this goes for the Mavericks. Snaps back. Punt is away, and it's kind of a line drive. It's going to hit, bounce, and into the end zone. The Mavericks are going to pick up about 15 yards on that punt, and the Cavaliers will start at their own 20. Quickly moving first quarter here. We're already down under two minutes to go. Cavaliers are back out, and they are showing a five-wide formation. Four receivers bunched to the right. We'll have Van Dahl. And the shotgun turns, and it's going to be a quarterback draw. Gets out to, still on his feet, gets out to about the 30 or the 27 yard line. That's going to be a pickup of seven on the quarterback draw on first down. Second and three, Second three here after the pickup of seven. And off comes to the right side. That's Pate, and he's going to be up into there. Dowdy got to him, and see who else was in on that tackle. Like Jacob Hall was the other one able to get in there. So that's going to be a no gain on the play, so it'll bring up third and three. And maybe picked up one on that one, so give it third and two. Cavaliers go into the eye, run right up the middle, and that's going to be stuffed. I think they maybe picked up a yard, got down to the 29. So it's going to bring up fourth and one, but deep in their own side of the field. We'll see if they want to go ahead and go for it. I think they're planning to, so we'll see if they come back out in that eye and just try to run it through the middle again. And they're not. They're going to, on fourth and one, spread four wide. We'll see if they go for that quarterback draw again. That was successful earlier. They send Holiday on motion. 11 seconds to go on the play clock. Looking around, and they're going to take a timeout. I believe they were just trying to get the Mavericks to jump. They would have get them to do that earlier. We'll see what they do. They might decide they want to talk about it and go ahead and try it. Or they might go ahead and kick the punt. Not a timeout. They went to the quarter. Can't see the scoreboard from where I'm at. So we're going to take a break and be right back. Home Improvement Projects with S.J. Needham. Indoor or outdoor, S.J. Needham can help. Makita Tools can get your lawns cleared with blowers, weed eaters, and chainsaws. And now is the time to look at new flooring, adding some new color to your walls, and new lighting fixtures. With tools and products for S.J. Needham, you'll have everything you need to get started with fall projects. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Needham Lumber Company, your home solution.
All right, back to it, getting ready to start the second quarter. Going to have a fourth and one. Cavaliers in the eye. And there's going to be movement before, and that's going to back them up. That's almost assuredly going to lead to a punt. You get on the, you get up on that line on a fourth and one in a big game like this, and you're amped up, and it's real easy to want to go a little bit early. The Mavericks are going to send Ridgeway and Boggs back to receive this punt. And it's high. That ball trickles into the end zone. Trying to get out, and he's going to be brought down. That's going to be a safety for the Mavericks. Number 22, that was A.G., the punter. The snap just went well over his head. He did everything he could possibly do to get back there in that end zone and get that thing out and almost got it back out. But it does end up going down, and it's going to be a safety. So we're going to have two points to the Mavericks, and it's going to be a free kick back in possession. So with this defense of the Cavaliers, though, taking that safety in that position might actually have been the better play because otherwise, if you get it out a couple of yards, you end up giving extremely short field. So you only give up two points this way, and you make the Mavericks have to march the field against this defense to get anything else. Cavaliers come out. A free kick will come from the 20-yard line. And we'll be able to place this on the ground. We'll have to kick it from the air. Mavericks have their deep receivers. Man and Ridgeway standing with their feet about on the 35-yard line. Kicks away. It's a good one. Spiraling kick's going to land down at the 22 Bounce around and going to be picked up by a man there. He was trying to let it go out of bounds. He's going to get back up to the 25, and he's going to be stopped there. Gets to call it the 27-yard line. So really good free kick there. Works almost as well as a kickoff for the Cavaliers. They do give up two points on the bad snap. The Mavericks were set to have pretty good field position had that punt got off. They'd have probably ended up around the 50, so this will start this possession about 25 yards short of where they were going to be. And again, the Cavaliers have a top defense. Daddy under center, split backs, receiver to the left, turns, hands off into the middle. And that's going to be Parker. Turns ahead. He's going to pick up about five on the play. Call it six, and it'll be second and four. The Mavericks come out. They're going to line up Ryan Mann to the wide side of the field on the right. Turn handoff into the inside. He's going to bounce around to the left, gets to the sticks. It's going to be close. That was Boggs on the carry on the end around. We'll see where they spot this. It's going to be went out right at the sticks. I think we're going to have a measurement. Sticks don't have to go very far for the measurement, and they're going to say that's first down. They're going to spot that ball at the Mavericks 38-yard line. It'll be first and 10. Mavericks are set. Split back formation. Dowdy under center. Man to the right. 
A little bit of movement on the line. We'll see which way they're going to call that. Dead ball. And that's going to go against the Mavericks, a false start. So it'll back them up five, and it'll be first and 15. Ball spotted to the Maverick, 33-yard line. Going to break the huddle. Going to come out with three receivers bunched to the left. Now he drops back, looks to throw, looks to throw. Now he's going to run to his left. Couldn't get rid of the ball, and that he's going to be pushed out of bounds. And that ball is going to be spotted back to the 30-yard line. That backs up now to second and 18. And I was been able to complete a couple of passes here tonight to Boggs, but on most of the dropbacks, Dowdy has been harassed heavily by this Cavalier defense and some trickeration there as they thought Ridgeway had that ball. It was actually headed over to the left side. They got a decent gain from Parker out of that. He's going to make it up to the 36-yard line. So that's going to make it a third and 12. So you have Boggs and Ryan Mann to the right in a stacked formation. Dowdy being harassed again, gets that ball away. Two Boggs. Boggs upfield, going to get up to almost to the sticks, but he's going to be short out to the 47-yard line. It's going to bring up a fourth and one. So the Mavericks with a real tough decision here. Are they going to go for it on fourth and one on their own side of the field? Ten minutes to go here in the second quarter. Mavericks lead two to nothing. Go for this. If you don't get it, you give the Cavaliers great field position. You know, looks like they are going to go for it. Let's see if they're going to try to get them to jump off sides or if they're going to snap this quick. And they snap it quick. Handoff goes to Parker, and he's going to be – they're going to mark that as a gain out. The crowd reacting like they think he hasn't got it. And it depends on which spot they take. The two referees apart from each other. And where they're going to spot this, I think this is going to be a first down. And it is. You had the – Official on the far side of the field, spotting about a yard farther than the one to the near side. And depending on who you were looking at, it was going to be hard to tell. And the Cavalier fans on this side, you could hear, they were very upset when they saw where that spot was going to be laid. But as it stands, it is a Maverick first down. And he's going to turn, hands to Parker again. Parker is going to get back up to the line of scrimmage, but nothing else. Come out. Now this is Bailey Ridgeway lined up to the near side of the field. Play action. Dowdy scrambling, looking for somebody to throw this ball to under a ton of pressure. Finds some room around the left-hand side. Gets a block, and we're going to get a flag. That might be a block in the back. Initially caught a hold and pointed to the defensive side, but I think he was just backwards. Reverse that, and it's going to call the hold on the Mavericks, which was the right call. Now 
And they're going to opt to decline as the loss on that play was more than what the penalty was going to give. And it's going to bring up third down. It's going to be about third and 18. The, the penalty actually would have pushed them back a little bit farther than that, but they would have repeated second down. So they're going to opt to go ahead and push them into this third and very long situation. The Mavericks back to the split back. Have Ryan Mann to the right side. And he's going to roll to his left. Throws back across the middle. It's going to be a little bit short, trying to get that back up to Chaz Boggs. And the Mavericks are going to have to punt. About eight and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Snap back, punt is away. A high arching punt into this October night rain. And Holiday has it. He comes around the left side, gets around Ridgeway, and he's going to get the ball out to see where they spot it. Crosses the 50 yard line and down to the 45 on a great return by Ethan Holiday. The Cavaliers will start this drive already in Maverick territory. Four wide in the shotgun for Van Dahl. And hands that ball off, and he's going to be brought down quickly as Pate tried to get back to the line of scrimmage over the right side, but loses about a foot on the play. Cavaliers have their play. Trips lined up to the right. Have a single receiver down. It's Peyton. Now he goes in motion, and we're going to get a flag. Mavericks indicating it's going to go against the Cavaliers, and it's false start. That'll bring it to a second and 15 for the Cavaliers. Backs it up just back across the 50-yard line onto their side of the field. That goes back directly to Holiday. He runs to his left side and is going to lose a chunk of yards there. Call it about two on the play as he tried to take a direct snap over the right side. But a slew of Mavericks, I believe led by Brady Baker, got back and brought him down. And that is going to bring up a third and long here for the Cavaliers. Third and longs have been a mainstay of this game on both sides tonight. Only points coming from a safety. Neither team has been able to find a sustained amount of success on offense. Cavaliers come out. They have three receivers to the right with a wing back. Vandal's going to take the ball. He throws, has a man open. And it's going to be caught there by Holiday, but he's still going to be short of the first down as they're going to mark this out to about the 48-yard line. Still going to bring up a fourth and eight. Tremendous catch there by Holiday. He had to go down and dig that up off the turf. Beautiful field turf been put down here by the Cavaliers this past all season, just an absolutely gorgeous field here tonight. Four receivers wide. They have Holiday lined up by himself to the left. 
And it's going to be a deep throw, and that ball is well out of anybody's range. Holiday looking for a hold on that play, but no flags on the ground, and it's going to be a turnover on downs back to the Mavericks. Some contact about the 30-yard line. The referees are going to say it's incidental, and it's going to flip the field back to the Mavericks. Over six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Mavericks will start with the ball on the 44-yard line. Rain picking up here again into a steady downpour. Hand off to Ridgeway. Ridgeway gets out over the 45. He's going to get to the 46. And progress will be stopped there. So as this rain continues to fall, it's going to make passing this ball even more difficult. Game clock down under. Five minutes almost, or under four, six minutes, down to 5.45. 12 seconds to go on the play clock. Mavericks going to come out. Single receiver lined up to the right. Turns and hands the ball to Ridgeway. He has some room out over the right side. Gets up to the 50-yard line, and they're going to mark him down right there. And it's going to bring up a third and four from the midfield mark. Right, Mavis ready to go here on this third and four. Turn, hand the ball to Parker. Parker breaks a tackle, and he's going to get more than enough for the first down as he gets down inside the 45-yard line to the 43. Parker with a burst of steam up the middle, and the sophomore back picks up the first down. Runs the ball to the 43-yard line. First down, Mavericks. Ball goes to Parker again. He tries to spin, maybe picks up half a yard on the play. Be second and nine. The tackle made by Brandon Pottier. timeout with 3.56 to go. So game as good as advertised so far to this point at 3.56 to go in the second quarter. The score is Mavericks 2, Cavaliers 0. Not a lot of offense so far in this game. Lone points came on a high snap on an attempted punt that went into the end zone, and the Mavericks are able to track down the punter. But so far, that has been it in this game as two top defenses are playing to their potential. So Cavaliers have all three of their timeouts left. Mavericks use their first. We're just about to get back to action. It's going to be with the ball spotted on... The Cavalier, 42-yard line. Oh, the 43-yard line, right in between. The Cavaliers are back on the field, ready to go, and here come the Mavericks. Five second clock starts, and the Mavericks are quick to break the huddle. They have 
Bailey Ridgeway wide to the right. Mavericks in a split back formation. Dowdy under center. He turns. He's going to hand that to Ridgeway. Ridgeway with a big room over the right side. He's going to get down. Breaks a tackle out over the 30 down to the 25 before he's finally brought down. That was a big gain over the right side for the Mavericks as that's the first time that Cooper Ridgeway has been really able to get loose tonight. Cavaliers have been keying hard on him, but he was able to get through, breaks the tackle from Evan Vandal, and they would get down to the 25-yard line where it's the first and 10. Ball goes to Parker. Parker barrels into the inside behind Brady Baker, and he's going to get about three yards on that play. There's Ethan Holiday and Cole Vandal in on that tackle. This will bring up a second and seven. Mavericks split back formation. Bailey Ridgeway over to the right. They hand it to Cooper Ridgeway, and he's able to pick up five more, or no, two more. Sorry, it's going to bring up third and five. It's down to the 20 yard line. Mavericks into four down territory area. Here come the Mavericks, lined up, split formation. Going to hand the ball to Ridgeway. He's going to go into the pile, still up, and they're going to blow that down. And I think they're going to give him progression up to about the 22. So it's going to bring up a fourth and a little less than two. Yard again, just shaded to the outside of the 20-yard line. All right, just to the outside of the 15-yard line. And the Mavericks are set to go for it. Split back, Parker and Ridgeway. They have Bailey Ridgeway wide to the right side. And you get a timeout. The Mavericks might have just wanted to get a look at what kind of defense the Cavaliers were going to bring out. And they will use their second timeout as they want to talk this over. A minute 30 to go in the first half. Rain has let up a little bit, but still coming down in a drizzle. Enough that most of the patrons here on both sides have their umbrellas out. No, the Cavaliers are set. And the Mavericks are back on the field. So we're going to have this fourth down play. It's going to be fourth and two. The Cavaliers 17 yard line. Need to get to the 15 for a first down. Mavericks have Parker and Ridgeway in the backfield. Dowdy under center. And the Cavaliers have just called a timeout. So some gamesmanship here between these two teams on back to back timeouts is. The Mavericks wanted to see what the Cavaliers were going to do. The Cavaliers wanted to see what the Mavericks were going to do. And we're going to talk over one more time before we run this play. Two good coaches here. John Mustaine, Kelly Vaughn, both experiencing some success here. Kelly Vaughn, 30 years, 31 years here at the school. First year as a head coach, but he has a 5-0 record to start it. And James Monroe has John Mustaine, who's been there for 27 years and has been the head coach for eight, has a 54-27 record over 
that time. So both coaches finding success, good coaches, and they are in a competition with each other tonight, and you're seeing it right now. The line is up for the third time as the Cavalier fans are really making this place rattle. You can hear them, and we're going to get another timeout. And that's another timeout from West, so that'll bring them down to one remaining. Both teams with one timeout. It's the third timeout in a row of this sequence. Rain picking back up. It'll be off and on all night here. No indication there's going to be lightning or anything like that that's going to delay this game, but this weather's certainly going to play into the story as we continue. thing this new field turf it's going to react differently than grass would to this rain so Cavaliers are used to playing on it more at this point but James Monroe has been mostly on grass this year Cavalier fans coming alive. They're shaking the stadium and the press box and everything on this side on this big fourth down play. And Dowdy into a shotgun. Takes the ball. He's going to head out over the left. Has room for the first down as he gets it down to the 13-yard line. And that'll be a first down for the Mavericks. So now you start looking at the clock. A minute 25 to go as they'll stop to move the chains. Plenty of time. Mavericks have one timeout left. And still room to pick up a first down without scoring. So they're going to come out now. Ryan Mann in the game splits out to the left side. Split receivers in the back. Dowdy turns, hands to Ridgeway. Ridgeway gets up down to the 10-yard line. Gain of... Going to call that a gain of four on that play. They had the ball spotted at the 14. So that's going to bring up a second and six at the 10 yard line. Clock ticks under a minute now to go, 50 seconds. Now he's in no hurry. Bailey Ridgeway lined up wide to the right. Dowdy takes that ball, almost slips. Now he's going to try to run to his left. Fires a pass into the end zone. He's going to be caught there by Chaz Boggs, who had got away from the defense and found himself alone in the corner. And that is going to be your first touchdown of this game. And it's a hookup between Leighton Dowdy and Chaz Boggs. will push the score 8 to nothing for the moment, pending the extra point. It's going to be Peyton Gardner, Maverick kicker. Out to attempt it. So snaps back. Kick is in the air. PAT is no good as it went wide, and that will keep the score at eight to nothing. So maybe a little bit of slippery conditions out there caused that ball to be pushed wide. Had plenty of distance, of course, but. PAT no good. So with 31 seconds to go in the second half, Mavericks lead eight to nothing, and it's going to be Cavalier ball. Cavaliers will have one timeout. A touchdown play almost found disaster in the beginning. It looked like as Dowdy took that ball and turned to fake the toss. Might have caught his feet up a little bit or slipped on the turf and almost went down. Was able to regather his composure, scramble to his left and find Boggs in the corner. Third reception for Boggs here tonight, and they've all three been in big spots, two on third down and that touchdown. So Gardner will come out. He's going to kick off. Holiday and Pate back to receive. Pate 
Van Dahl back there as well. Three deep receivers on this kick return. And it's going to be kicked shallow. It's going to end up with Pate. Comes back across the middle of the field. Has some room there. He's going to get away. And they're going to have a block in the back as he's going to have a huge gain. But that's going to be coming back. A block in the back happened right at the 49-yard line. Looked like it was Ridgeway coming across. And one of the Cavaliers didn't catch who it was. Caught him in the back. I don't think he was going to make that tackle. So a break for the Mavericks as the laundry flies on that kick return. And that ball down all the way to the 20-yard line. And this is going to wipe that out and put them back to their side of the field with 20 seconds to go. That's a 10-yard penalty from the spot. So they'll spot that ball at the Cavalier 41-yard line. After a huge return there for Pate, but wiped out on the block in the back. Penalty top ball at the 41-yard line. First down, Cavalier. Through four wide receivers to the right. Vandal drops, throws to his left. That's Holiday. He has a reception. He's down out of bounds at the 33-yard line. That's going to stop the clock with 14 seconds to go. Had him lined up down here by himself opposite the four wide formation or the four bunch formation on the right. And they went to him. He was able to cradle that ball, bring it in, turn and get upfield before he's knocked out of bounds inside the 35-yard line. They're going to spot it at the 34. 20 seconds, no, 14 seconds to go. One timeout for the Cavaliers. And we're going to get a timeout called right now. It's going to be the Mavericks as they want to talk about this defensive play. It's the last timeout for the Mavericks. They can't stop the clock again in this half. The final timeout of the half. And uh, take a break, and we will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Tom Johnson, broker and owner of Coldwell Banker Stewart and Watts Real Estate, wishes the best to all the players and teams. We appreciate our clients past and present, and we have served our community for over 110 years. We have 30 agents to serve you, and we ask that you call us for any of your real estate needs. Stewart and Watts Real Estate looks forward to working with you. All right, getting ready to get back into action. 14 seconds to go. Mavericks lead 8 to nothing on a touchdown and a safety with a mixed extra point on the touchdown. But the Warriors threaten here as they go four wide with Holiday by himself to the left side. Vandal drops back. They're going to go to Holiday again. He's got his man beat, and he's into the end zone. That's going to be a touchdown west. They went to Ethan Holiday twice on that drive, and he picked it all up and found himself in the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. So opportunity here to cut this, opportunity here to make it a tie game if they can get the two-point conversion. is going to go ahead and use their timeout. Only nine seconds to go here in the second half, or the first half. And we're going to take a break. Be right back. Six to eight right now. Mavericks lead, and we're pending an extra point attempt. West going to try to tie this up with nine seconds to go in the first half. So 
They're out. Looks like they have Holiday lined up, ready to take a direct snap. He takes it. He's going to run to his right and breaks a tackle in. Looks like he got in, and he did. That's going to tie things up here. Nine seconds to go in the first half, and it's all locked up at eight. We promised you a good game here tonight, and so far it has delivered as these teams find themselves locked up. Nine seconds to go. Still going to be a kickoff with a little bit of room for some more offense in this half, possibly after the first three quarters of the half were dominated by defense. Both teams come out and score, and the Cavaliers do it in about 22 seconds. Kicks away, and it's a low line drive, and it's going to end up bouncing out of bounds. So with no timer on the clock, the Mavericks are going to get the ball to start up around 35-yard line. Let's see if they want to take a shot here or just run this and get to halftime. Neither team with any timeout. Actually, Cavaliers do have one timeout remaining. Out. He takes the ball, and he's just going to take a knee, and the Mavericks are going to head to halftime. And it's all locked up as the Cavaliers and the Mavericks. Top game in the state tonight, and it is tied at halftime. And that game started out today. The defensive struggle on both sides. Mavericks scored on a special teams play on a bad snap on a punt. And then both teams take their final possession into the end zone and it makes it eight to eight. And so we're going to take a break and we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. More action in the second half to come. The next time you find yourself stuck, broken down, or stranded, call Steve's Towing. Serving eastern and western Greenbrier counties and surrounding areas, he won't charge an arm and a leg. All he wants is a tow. Providing rollback service for light and medium duty vehicles, as well as lockout service and jump starts. Call 304 661 5255. Steve Fields, owner and operator. Kathy Hunter, owner of Katie Did Photography, is a proud sponsor of Greenbrier West Sports. Kathy is a wildlife photographer with a special interest in our state animal, the black bear. Some of her work has been published in Best of the Week galleries on the UniverseOfCollarPhotography.com website. The Hunter Family Farm is registered with the National Wildlife Federation and the West Virginia Wildflower Program to provide a sustainable habitat for our wildlife. Best wishes to our players. Good luck, Cavaliers.
Again, the winner of the backpack was Michael Bolt, and the winner of the cooler is Josh Nutter. Let's welcome the Greenbrier West Cavalier Marching Band to the field. They'd like to invite everyone out to Greenbrier East tomorrow for the competition. Competition starts at 11. West will be playing at 145. Next Friday is Band Alumni Night. The band would like to ask all alumni to come out and play with them on Friday night. Meet at the band room around the circle at 5 p.m.
have your attention, please. There is a Toyota RAV4 parked behind the visitor's stands. License plate 51 Victor 842. Toyota RAV4, license plate 51 Victor 842 needs to be moved, please. Fall means home improvement projects with S.J. Needhawk. Indoor or outdoor, S.J. Needhawk can help. Makita Tools can get your lawns cleared with blowers, weed eaters, and chainsaws. And now is the time to look at new flooring, adding some new color to your walls, and new lighting fixtures. With tools and products from S.J. Needhawk, you'll have everything you need to get started on your fall projects. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk Lumber Company, your home solution. Tom Johnson, broker and owner of Coldwell Banker Stewart and Watts Real Estate, wishes the best to all the players and teams. We appreciate our clients past and present, and we have served our community for over 110 years. We have 30 agents to serve you, and we ask that you call us for any of your real estate needs. Stewart and Watts Real Estate looks forward to working with you. The next time you find yourself stuck, broken down, or stranded, call Steve's Towing. Serving eastern and western Greenbrier counties and surrounding areas, he won't charge an arm or a leg. All he wants is a tow. Providing rollback service for light and medium duty vehicles, as well as walkout service and jump starts. Call 304-661-5255. Steve Fields, owner and operator. Kathy Hunter, owner of Katie Did Photography, is a proud sponsor of Greenbrier West Sports. Kathy is a wildlife photographer with a special interest in our state animal, the black bear. Some of her work has been published in Best of the Week galleries on the universeofcollarphotography.com website. The Hunter family farm is registered with the National Wildlife Federation and the West Virginia Wildflower Program to provide a sustainable habitat for our wildlife. Best wishes to our players. Good luck, Cavaliers.
Fall means home improvement projects with S.J. Needhawk. Indoor or outdoor, S.J. Needhawk can help. Makita Tools can get your lawns cleared with blowers, weed eaters, and chainsaws. And now is the time to look at new flooring, adding some new color to your walls, and new lighting fixtures. With tools and products from S.J. Needhawk, you'll have everything you need to get started on your fall projects. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk Lumber Company, your home solution. Tom Johnson, broker and owner of Coldwell Banker Stewart and Watts Real Estate, wishes the best to all the players and teams. We appreciate our clients past and present, and we have served our community for over 110 years. We have 30 agents to serve you, and we ask that you call us for any of your real estate needs. Stewart and Watts Real Estate looks forward to working with you. The next time you find yourself stuck, broken down, or stranded, call Steve's Towing. Serving eastern and western Greenbrier counties and surrounding areas, he won't charge an arm and a leg. All he wants is a tow. Providing rollback service for light and medium duty vehicles, as well as walkout service and jump starts. Call 304-661-5255. Steve Fields, owner and operator. Kathy Hunter, owner of Katie Did Photography, is a proud sponsor of Greenbrier West Sports. Kathy is a wildlife photographer with a special interest in our state animal, the black bear. Some of her work has been published in Best of the Week galleries on the UniverseOfColorPhotography.com website. The Hunter Family Farm is registered with the National Wildlife Federation and the West Virginia Wildflower Program to provide a sustainable habitat for our wildlife. Best wishes to our players. Good luck, Cavaliers. All right, folks, we're back. Got about a minute to go before we kick off the second half. Both teams out of the locker rooms and warming up. Rain still coming down in spurts right now, calm, but it's been raining on and off all night. We recap the first half for anybody who's just joining. Started off as a defensive struggle for about a quarter and a half. Both teams took their opening possessions and were forced to punt, and the only points came from a High snap that went into the end zone. The Mavericks were able to get a safety on that play. Made it two to nothing. Toward the end of the first half, the Mavericks took a long drive down and capped it off with a scoring pass from Dowdy to Boggs in the back corner of the end zone. That left 31 seconds on the clock, and that was more than enough time, nine seconds more than enough time, to be precise for the Cavaliers, who in two plays were able to drive 40 yards or 60 yards and finish with a long touchdown pass to Ethan Holiday. And that is how we got to 8-8. Eight to eight. Cavaliers were successful in a two-point conversion and the Mavericks missed their attempted field goal. And it's going to be the Cavaliers who start possession in the second half. And we're down to zeros on the halftime clock, and we're ready to go. So both teams are going to take the field, and we're going to get back to this. And game of the night here. Five-yard penalty going to be assessed on the kickoff. So it'll bring the ball up to the 45-yard line to kick off. Back deep, you're going to have Pate Holiday. And it looks like Lily. All right, fasten your seatbelts all tied up, and we're underway on the second half. 
deep kick goes to the one yard line. It's going to be fielded there by Holiday. He gets out around one tackler, has some room as he's out over the 30 to the 40. 50 down to the 40 before he's upended by a couple of Mavericks, but a 59-yard return takes it down to the Maverick 40. They're going to officially bring that down to the 38. So you can make that a 61-yard return from Ethan Holiday, And that's going to start things off here inside Maverick territory for the Cavaliers. Four wide receivers to the right. And it's going to be Van Dahl on the quarterback keeper, but doesn't get anything on the play back up to the line of scrimmage to bring up second. And they might spot him out. Might spot him out a yard, almost a yard on that. So give him a yard of credit. It's going to be second and nine. So four receivers right. Have Holiday by himself to the left. Quick pass over to the right side. It's going to go to Pate. Pate still on his feet. He has a first down. He's down to inside the 25-yard line. Took a quick screen pass and was able to find some room. Brings up a Cavalier first down. <laughs> now we have four wide receivers lined up wide to the left. It'll be Holiday alone to the top of the field. And it's going to be a quarterback keeper as Van Dahl gains about nine yards on that play. He's going to be down to the 16th. Brought down by Chaz Boggs after a gain of nine. Ball back to Van Dahl. He's going to make a – tries to make a quick throw, but he's going to bring it down, and there's a flag on the play. As of right now, that's going to be a loss of about five. We'll see what the flag is. It's going to be an illegal shift on the offense. They're going to decline the penalty, and it's going to bring up a third and eight. Call it third and seven on the spot. Balls of the 22 need the 15 for a first down. Spread formation, four receivers to the left. Holiday to the right. Vandal pump fakes, and he goes deep. Ball is caught. And that's a touchdown. That's going to go for the reception to Colton Dunbar. He was able to get in between a couple of Maverick defenders and bring that down, and it's going to give the Cavaliers a 14-8 lead. Extra point by Ridgeway, and that's good. So it'll make it 15 to 8. The Cavaliers come out of their opening possession in the second half and have a seven point lead. And we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back for the kickoff. means home improvement projects with S.J. Needhawk. Indoor or outdoor, S.J. Needhawk can help. Makita Tools can get your lawns cleared with blowers, weed eaters, and chainsaws. 
And now is the time to look at new flooring, adding some new color to your walls, and new lighting fixtures. With tools and products from SJ Needhawk, you'll have everything you need to get started on your fall projects. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call SJ Needhawk Lumber Company, your home solution. All right, we are back. Ryan Man and Cooper Ridgeway deep to receive. It's a Hayden Ridgeway kickoff, and that's a squib kick. It's going to bounce up and gets past Mann, who picks it up. He's downfield, has a few yards on the play, still on his feet, gets out to the 30, and we're going to get a flag. We'll see what that's going to be. Right now, ball spotted at the 30-yard line. Flag came in from the back, Judge. going to be a hold against the Mavericks. Let's go West! That'll be a 10-yard penalty. We'll back things up to the Mavericks 17-yard line. That's well their start. Ten minutes even on the third quarter. Ball snap back. Handoff goes to Ridgeway. Has some room up over the right side, and he gets about five on the play. Dive into the pile. They're going to have a penalty flag come in from the back side of the defense. Ridgeway gets about a yard on the play, and it's going to be another hold on the Mavericks. That's going to back things up. Penalty going to be assessed from the 24-yard line. That'll take them back to the 14. So they're going to take it all the way back to the 12. And that's going to bring up second and 15. Let's go. Average show trips left. They have Boggs down to the bottom side of the field by himself. Out he takes the ball. Now he's going to run. Surrounded there by Cavalier defenders. Gets back out to the line of scrimmage. Might have picked up a yard on the play. And that's going to bring up third down. Cavalier fans making a lot of noise here on this third and long. The Mavericks come out with twin receivers to the right, one to the left. And that he drops back. He's under pressure, and he's going to be brought down. And that's going to be down at the two-yard line. So a huge defensive stand there for the Cavaliers, and they're going to get this ball right back. And the Mavericks are going to be forced to punt from deep with inside their own end zone. They trail by seven. And they're going to spot that ball up to the four-yard line now. Slightly more room here for the Mavericks to punt, but it's still going to be a compacted punting formation. And the ball gets through and able to get the punt off. But it's going to be a short hanging punt, and it takes a Cavalier bounce, and they're going to have this ball at their own, at the Maverick 25-yard line to start this series. So now the pressure switches over to the Maverick defense as they've been unable to stop 
this passing attack of the Cavaliers over their past two possessions, and they have had two quick possessions. So the Mavericks going to try to make some adjustments and keep them out of the end zone here before this becomes a two-touchdown game. Holiday lined up by himself to the left side, four receivers to the right. And it's going to be a quarterback keeper, and he gets through the initial line, but he's going to be brought down at the 20, picks up six on the play. Cavaliers come out under center in the eye. Pitch goes outside to Pate. Pate has some room, gets down, and he's brought down by the Mavericks all the way down inside the five-yard line before they're able to actually get him out of bounds. And that's going to be a first down. They're going to spot it at the six. And the Cavaliers have a... First and goal with 6.45 to go in the third quarter. Into the eye, pitch goes to Pate, and they're going to bring him down for no gain. That'll be second and goal. Cavaliers in the eye, have the receiver split to the right. Randall's looking to throw, ball's in the air, and it's going to be brought down. That's a touchdown. That's going to be Tucker Lilly with the reception from Vandal. And it's 21 to 8. Point attempt in the air, and it's through and good. That's going to push the score 22 to 8. Cavaliers lead by 14. Six minutes to go in the third quarter. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back. Tom Johnson, broker and owner of Coldwell Banker Stewart and Watts Real Estate, wishes the best to all the players and teams. We appreciate our clients past and present, and we have served our community for over 110 years. We have 30 agents to serve you, and we ask that you call us for any of your real estate needs. Stuart Watts Real Estate looks forward to working with you. We're Moco shirts, signs, and embroidery. For Southern West Virginia, we can handle all your needs. From signs to apparel to uniforms. We offer all the services that you're looking for. We're back. A Vandal touchdown pass to Tucker Lilly. Makes this a two-touchdown game. West leads 22-8. Kickoff skips in, and it's going to skip out of bounds. It'll give the Mavericks starting position at the 35-yard line. So if you're the Cavaliers right now, you're looking to keep this gas pushed to the floor and start stretching this lead out. If you're the Mavericks, you're looking to make some advantage on this drive and get this thing back to a single-score game and get things a little bit under control as they have allowed three straight touchdown drives from the Cavaliers on three possessions, dating back to 30 seconds to go in the first half. The Mavericks will come out. Under center, split backs, single receiver to the left. Turn handoff goes to Ridgeway. He's got room around the outside. Gets the edge, and he's going to gain... 
See where they spot this. They're going to call that four on the play as he gets out to the 39. And he's brought down by Marcus Adkins. I'll bring up a second and six. Average split receiver to the right. Go split backs. And they're going to hand off to Parker, who's able to turn ahead for about two. And it'll bring up a third and four. Twin receivers to the right, single to the left. Dowdy takes the ball. He's going to take a screen pass over to Ridgeway, who's brought down immediately. I believe that was Isaac Agee on the defense. Read that screen pass and got in there and allowed no gain after the catch. It actually drops the Mavericks back about a half a yard. It's going to bring up fourth and four, a long four, and the Mavericks look like they're going to punt. Snaps back, it's caught, punt is in the air, a better punt than the last one, but it's going to take a little bit of a Maverick bounce, and it's going to come to a stop right at about the War or Cavalier 30-yard line. The Cavalier defense stands strong, forces another three and out, and the Maverick punt. Uh, the Mavericks are going to try to get things under control on defense now, but they've had no answer for the Cavalier passing attack over the last quarter. Empty formation, four receivers to the left. Drop back, throw goes to Pate. Pate gets past one defender, makes another miss, and gets a gain out to the 36-yard line. Pick up a six on the screen pass. Snaps back, Vandal throws, and Hey, we're going to get a, I believe it's going to be a pass interference. Yard penalty does result in a first down, and that ball will be spotted up across the 50 yard line to the 49. Ball gets out to the right side, and squirts free, gets up to about the 42. thrown to Colton Dunbar, had the touchdown reception a little earlier. And he's lined up now close to the boundary on the wide side of the field. Vandal takes the ball over the first down mark and gets down to the 35. Don't let up. 
Empty formation. Ball back to Vandal. Pump fakes the screen. Now he's going to go deep. Has oh, almost picked off, but that's late in doubt. He had the ball in his hands and loses it, and we're going to get a flag. And the Mavericks reacting as if that's going to go against the Cavaliers, possibly Colton Dunbar, who was the only Cavalier player in the area. Don't know if something was said, but we're going to find out. And that is going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct called on Colton Dunbar. And that's going to back up the Cavaliers 15 yards. That's a dead ball. The play will count. We'll end up with a second and 25 at the 50 yard line. Cavaliers have two backs in the formation in the shotgun. Twin receivers to the right. Takes the handoff. Vandal's going to try to keep it. He gets up about back to the 50-yard line where he's tackled by a host of Mavericks, and that will be no gain. It'll be third and 25. Twin receivers to each side, single back, and now they're going to motion Pate into the left side, and a quarterback keeper gets the ball up to the 41-yard line, and that's going to bring up fourth down and 16. So again, a nine there on the quarterback draw from Van Dahl. Cavaliers look primed to go for this. Mavericks. Mavericks are going to put a couple guys deep. Look like they're expecting a punt, and that is what it's going to be. So as they break the huddle, they're going to go into punt formation. Punt is away. A spiraling punt's going to land out of bounds at the 15. We'll see where they spot it, and they're going to mark it up to the 17. So... Good punt there for the Cavaliers as they're able to pin the Mavericks inside the 20-yard line. And the Mavericks are going to look to get something going here on offense as they trail 22-8 to with a minute 36 to go in the third quarter. <coughs> Come out, twin receivers to the right. Two tight ends. Dowdy scrambles back, gets away from a defender, still running, cuts back to the inside, and he's going to be brought down, but gets enough to get back to the line of scrimmage, it looks like. And might spot him back, say he lost a yard on that play to the 16. It's Colton Dunbar on the stop. Also play by Pitch back in to Boggs. He's got some room around the right side. Makes a couple defenders miss. He's got a first down, and they're going to finally bring him down out over the 30-yard line. The Mavericks brought Boggs into motion and gave him a little toss as he came by, and he found some room for a first down. So the Mavericks able to move the sticks for the first time in the half. As it ticks down to 45 seconds to go in the quarter.
Single receiver right for the Mavericks. That's Bailey Ridgeway. Two, two back split turn. They toss to Ridgeway. Ridgeway picks up a block. He's out over the 30, and he's going to be run out of bounds after a gain of about one on the play. Only now they're going to give it two now as they're going to mark that up to the 33-yard line. So call it a gain of two on the play. We'll bring up second and eight. And to stop the clock with 18 seconds to go in the third quarter. Cavaliers lead 22 to eight. Dowdy fakes a handoff. Now he's going to go deep. Has Ryan Mann, but just goes through his hands just off the tips of his fingers. Mann not able to bring that pass in. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Had a step on the defender, but just couldn't bring down the pass. So the Mavericks be facing third and eight. And they'll go empty in the backfield. Now he looks to throw. Now he's going to scramble to his left. Pump fakes. Still moving. Chucks the ball, just trying to get rid of it. And it'll bring up fourth down. The tight defense on the back end by the Cavaliers forces the throw away. Four seconds remain in the third quarter. like the Mavericks are planning to go for it. They've brought Ridgeway and Boggs out. And now we're going to get a timeout. And they're going to talk this over. And we're going to take a break with them and be right back. The next time you find yourself stuck, broken down, or stranded, call Steve's Towing. Serving eastern and western Greenbrier counties and surrounding areas, he won't charge an arm and a leg. All he wants is a tow. Providing rollback service for light and medium duty vehicles, as well as lockout service and jump starts. Call 304 661 5255. Steve Fields, owner and operator. Kathy Hunter, owner of Katie Did Photography, is a proud sponsor of Greenbrier West Sports. Kathy is a wildlife photographer with a special interest in our state animal, the black bear. Some of her work has been published in Best of the Week galleries on the UniverseOfCollarPhotography.com website. The Hunter Family Farm is registered with the National Wildlife Federation and the West Virginia Wildflower Program to provide a sustainable habitat for our wildlife. Best wishes to our players. Good luck, Cavaliers. Back in a big fourth down, fourth and eight here for the Mavericks. They're going to go four wide receivers. Dowdy in the shotgun. He's going to scramble to his left under some pressure. Gets a pass down the field, and that's going to be knocked down. I believe that was Evan Van Dahl on the coverage. He was able to get a hand in and knock that pass away from Boggs. And it's a turnover on downs. Ball back to the Cavaliers, and they're going to have excellent starting position here as they get the ball on the Maverick 38-yard line. We have a timeout, and we're going to take it, and we'll be right back. Fall means home improvement projects with S.J. Needhawk. Indoor or outdoor, S.J. Needhawk can help. Makita Tools can get your lawns cleared with blowers, weed eaters, and chainsaws. And now is the time to look at new flooring, adding some new color to your walls, and new lighting fixtures. With tools and products from SJ Needhawk, you'll have everything you need to get started on your fall projects. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, 
Call S.J. Needhawk Lumber Company, your home solution. And we're back, getting ready to start the fourth quarter. Mavericks trail the Cavaliers 22-8. to It's a two-touchdown game right now. And the Cavaliers have the ball. Again, excellent starting position. They're going to have the ball on their 30 or the on the Maverick 38-yard line. So short field to work with here as they begin their possession first of the fourth quarter. Ball back to Van Dahl. Turns as a quick screen over to Dunbar. Dunbar's going to be up over the 30. Finds room to the 25. And it's going to be brought down there. And let's see, they're going to spot it up to the 25-yard line. So it's going to be a gain of eight. And to bring up second and two. The game's to the 25-yard line. Yeah. Four receivers wide to the left. Single receiver is Holiday to the bottom of the field. And Vandal keeps it. He's going to have the first down and gets up to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Jackson Phipps on the stop. And Cavaliers again driving deep in Maverick territory. Be first and ten from the 15. Empty backfield. Vandal has the ball, so screen pass to Holiday. He has it at the 15, and he's going to be stopped there by Boggs, so no gain on the play. Bring up second down. Cavaliers come out in eye formation, turn, pitch goes to A.G., and he's brought down for uh, about a loss of a yard back up to the 16-yard line. And that's going to bring up third and 11. Mavericks desperately need a defensive stand here and to keep the Cavaliers out of the end zone if they want to be able to hang around and have a chance at this game in the end. If the Cavaliers can punch this in now with under 10 minutes to go, go up three scores in the fourth quarter. That might be a little bit too much. And you're going to have some movement along the defensive line. And it's going to be offside, so it's going to shorten this third down attempt up by five, and it's going to be a third and six. Cavaliers come out, four receivers spread, three receivers really, and a wing back spread to the right. Vandal's going to take the snap, rolls to his right, fires the ball into the end zone, and it's over his intended receiver. Going for Tucker Lilly there, just not able to get up quite high enough to bring it down. It's going to be fourth and six from the 11-yard line. And it looks like they're going to run on the kicking team and see if they can get three here. That would make it a three-possession game, and very difficult for the Mavericks to come back from with the remaining time. So a big kick coming up here for the Cavaliers. And that ball is going to be put down at the 23-yard line. It'll be a 33-yard kick. It's in the air and has plenty of distance, and it's good. A 
think he could have had that from 40 or 45 if he had had to try it. That ball sailed through the uprights with plenty of room to spare. And that brings it to 25 to 8, just under nine minutes to go. So we'll come back to the kickoff, and the Mavericks will have the ball. We'll be back. Tom Johnson, broker and owner of Coldwell Banker Stewart and Watts Real Estate, wishes the best to all the players and teams. We appreciate our clients past and present, and we have served our community for over 110 years. We have 30 agents to serve you, and we ask that you call us for any of your real estate needs. Stewart and Watts Real Estate looks forward to working with you. And the kickoff is going to sail out of bounds. Third time we've seen that tonight. And the Mavericks will be starting at the their own 35-yard line. Seventeen point spread right now. Cavaliers lead twenty five to eight. Mavericks, if they want to stick in this and have an opportunity at the end, they're gonna to have to put it in on this drive. Ball snap back to I believe that went to Boggs on the direct snap, and he has yardage gained out past the forty five, and it's gonna be a first down. That back goes to Dowdy. He's going to pitch inside to Ridgeway. Ridgeway is going to be grabbed right there where he gets the ball for a loss of two on the play. He's bringing up second and 12. Eight and a half minutes on a ticking fourth quarter clock. Back to Dowdy. He looks to throw. Ball, and that's going to be off the hands of his intended receiver. And Wilson Boggus, the intended receiver. Ball goes off of his fingertips, and it'll bring up third and 12. Takes a drop. Let's get past one defender. Now he's going to fire downfield, and that's going to be nah, broken up by Pate. And bring up fourth down. 7.52 to go in the fourth quarter. Mavericks have almost no option but to go for this long fourth down. And it looks like they're actually going to go ahead and punt and try to play defense. Snaps back, and the punt is away. It's a high arching punt, going to land and take a bounce back before it's down at the 36-yard line by the Mavericks. We're going to take a break and be right back. 
The next time you find yourself stuck, broken down, or stranded, call Steve's Towing. Serving eastern and western Greenbrier counties and surrounding areas, he won't charge an arm and a leg. All he wants is a tow. Providing rollback service for light and medium duty vehicles, as well as lockout service and jump starts. Call 304 661 5255. Steve Fields, owner and operator. Right, we're back. Cavaliers getting ready to start the first play of this drive. Snap back to Vandolf, fakes the handoff to Pate. He's going to keep it himself and gets out to the 45-yard line. It's going to be a gain of eight. They'll bring up second and two. Cavaliers in no hurry to run their next play. They're going to let the play clock run down. It's inside of three seconds. They're going to snap it with one second to go and run forward. We'll see where the spot is for Pate. It looks like they're going to spot him a little short. That was actually Ethan Holiday on the carry, not Pate. And they're going to give him the first down. So it'll be first down at the 47-yard line. And that brings the clock under 640 to go. Mavericks only two timeouts remaining. 20 seconds to go on this play clock, and the Cavaliers will be happy to let it run down. And that'll bring them down to about... 6-10 on the clock before they have to snap it. Play clock's under 3-2-1. Snap comes back. Handoff is fumbled. Pate couldn't secure the handoff. It's on the ground. There's a pile. A Maverick pops out with it. And that is going to be Maverick football on the fumble. So some life breathed into the Mavericks here as the Cavaliers turn it over on the Maverick 45-yard line. It was a handoff from Vandal to Pate, and it just hit the turf. I don't know if it was the wet conditions or just didn't get a good secure into the pocket, but however it is, the Mavericks have the ball, and they're going to come out with three wide to the right. And they motion Ridgeway. It's going to go back to Dowdy. He's going to keep it and gain about three to bring up second and seven. So just under six minutes to go. Mavericks still trail by 17. Stop made by Holiday. The Mavericks are huddled. Break the Huddle with about 10 seconds to go on the play clock. You go under center, single receiver to the top of the field. Split backs. Turns, handoff goes to Ridgeway, and he is stuffed before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. And they're going to say about a loss of a half a yard on that play to bring up third and long. The clock's still ticking, down to almost five minutes to go. Mavericks not showing signs of being in a hurry yet. Late substitution coming in here for the Mavericks. Under 10 seconds to go. Still in the huddle. Seven. Now down to five seconds. They're going to snap the – break the huddle. They're going to have to take a timeout right here. They're going to get a delay a game. And they do take it. So down to 431 here. The Mavericks trail by 17. And it's a timeout. We're going to take that opportunity to break, and we'll be back. Kathy Hunter. Owner of Katie Did Photography is a proud sponsor of Greenbrier West Sports. Kathy is a wildlife photographer with a special interest in our state animal, the black bear. Some of her work has been published in Best of the Week galleries on the UniverseOfColorPhotography.com website. 
The Hunter Family Farm is registered with the National Wildlife Federation and the West Virginia Wildflower Program to provide a sustainable habitat for our wildlife. Best wishes to our players. Good luck, Cavaliers. We're back third and long here for the Mavericks. Trail by 17. Four and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. They're going to get something going. They're going to have to do it right now. Snap comes back to Dowdy. He's going to take it up over the left side and gains out to almost the 40. He's got him down just inside the 41-yard line. It's going to be fourth down. So this is a fourth down play. For the game right here, Mavericks want any opportunity to try to have a shot at the end of this one. They're going to have to convert on this. If not, it's going to be too late. Four minutes on a ticking clock. Snap comes back to Dowdy. He looks, fires down the field. That's going to be knocked into the air and incomplete. No flags, and it's going to be a turnover on downs to the Cavaliers. Turnover on downs. Mavericks only one timeout left and under four minutes to go. And the Cavalier fans sniffing victory right now. That comes back, handoff to Pate. He dives into the line. No gain. We'll bring up second down. The clock will run. That'll allow the Cavaliers to take this down almost to three minutes before they have to snap again. Play clock down to seven seconds. They're going to let this thing go all the way down two seconds. And now we're going to get a timeout by the Cavaliers. We'll take another opportunity right here for some messages. We'll be back. Fall means home improvement projects with S.J. Needhawk. Indoor or outdoor, S.J. Needhawk can help. Makita Tools can get your lawns cleared with blowers, weed eaters, and chainsaws. And now is the time to look at new flooring, adding some new color to your walls, and new lighting fixtures. With tools and products from S.J. Needhawk, you'll have everything you need to get started on your fall projects. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk Lumber Company, your home solution. Tom Johnson, broker and owner of Coldwell Banker Stewart and Watts Real Estate, wishes the best to all the players and teams. We appreciate our clients past and present, and we have served our community for over 110 years. We have 30 agents to serve you, and we ask that you call us for any of your real estate needs. Stuart Watts Real Estate looks forward to working with you. And we're back. Second and 10. Up for the Cavaliers. 3.06 to go in the fourth quarter. Cavaliers lead. 17 points, 25 to 8. Snap back to Van Dahl. He's going to keep it himself, and he's brought down immediately to the 41-yard line. Clock ticks down under two and a half minutes, under 10 seconds to go on the play clock. 
Cavaliers with a four wide formation, single back. And we're going to get a whistle. There's a flag on the play. Might have let that run a little too far. And that is a delay of game. And that will back the Cavaliers up five, and it'll be third and 15. This distance of this first down makes a little right now. It's more the clock as they have a three-score lead with just under 2.20 to go. That goes back to Van Dahl. He's going to run to his left, gets out, has some room, and is finally brought down out over the 50-yard line, almost to the first down, about a yard short. And the clock will run down under two minutes, and it will be down to almost a minute and a half before they actually have to snap this. If they can get this first down, they'll be able to go into victory formation and salt this game away. timeout with a minute and a half to go. So we'll take the break and be back. Breaking the huddle, and timeout's over. So both teams have one remaining, a minute and a half to go. Cavaliers lead 25 to 8. Cavaliers in the eye, and it's going to be the quarterback keeper out over, and it's enough for a first down. going to do it, folks, as the Cavaliers are able to or the Mavericks are going to be able to stop this clock one time if they choose to. And the Cavaliers are going to be able to run the clock out in this one. Coach is calling in for the victory formation. So we're going to see Van Dahl go under center and take a knee. And takes a knee. A minute to go. So looking ahead here as the Cavaliers able to get this victory out over the number one ranked Mavericks tonight. They're going to be looking to go play on the 13th, that's next Friday against Petersburg. That game will be here, actually. They'll have a home game against Petersburg as they move to 6-0 and on the season. The Mavericks will fall to 4-1. and They'll have a game on Friday night against Midland Trail. That will be in Linside, so they'll look to get back on the right side of the win column that night. This game has just officially taken off the last 10 seconds as the teams are going to meet at midfield. Yeah, Coach Mustaine and Coach Kelly Vaughn exchanging some words and a handshake. And the Warriors are able to come in here tonight on their home turf. Or the Warriors, sorry, the Cavaliers able to come in here tonight on their home turf and defend it against the Mavericks. And the Mavericks are having to go back home with a loss on their record. So we're going to take a quick break. One more. We'll come back with all the post game thoughts and a look ahead and we'll be back.
Kathy Hunter, owner of Katie Did Photography, is a proud sponsor of Greenbrier West Sports. Kathy is a wildlife photographer with a special interest in our state animal, the black bear. Some of her work has been published in Best of the Week galleries on the universeofcollarphotography.com website. The Hunter family farm is registered with the National Wildlife Federation and the West Virginia Wildflower Program to provide a sustainable habitat for our wildlife. Best wishes to our players. Good luck, Cavaliers. We're back again. Greenbrier West Cavaliers able to come out victorious tonight over the James Monroe Mavericks and in convincing fashion as they win 25 to 8. And it was really a tale of two halves in the first half. Both teams came out strong defensive stands. The half ended 8 and 8 after the Mavericks were able to get a mid half safety and then punch in a touchdown for six. Uh, but the Cavaliers, not to be denied, were able to come back and score with 30 seconds to start the drive, score with nine seconds to go on a pass down the left side of the field to Ethan Holiday from Van Dahl. And Holiday then takes a direct snap back to the right side and scored, which tied the game up at eight. So they came out after halftime, and the third quarter belonged to the Cavaliers as they were able to score on three drives. The fourth quarter come back and a back and forth effort for both teams in the fourth quarter, but the Cavaliers had already stretched out too big of a lead and they're able to claim victory here tonight in this game of the week in West Virginia single A football. And this is going to go a long way into seeding for the playoffs and down the line. And there's a good chance you could see these two teams meeting up again somewhere along those lines. Again, for next week, Greenbrier West will be back in action here in Charmco against Petersburg. James Monroe will face Midland Trail, and that game will be played in Linside. So, one last time here tonight, James Monroe, 8. The Greenbrier West Cavaliers, 25. And that's going to do it for here, us tonight, for Greenbrier Valley Channel, New River Network, uh, this is signing off another great night of single-A football.